in my opinion, I think when the weather breaks, that's when you you start the, the stupid arguments. <laughs> you gotta start the stupid arguments. The shit like, did your feet ain't sunk for four months? Why do your feet stink today? <laughs> Why the fuck are you not cooking today? Why the fuck do you not do the dishes? You get on my motherfucking nerves. My mother about to come home. You gotta get out. All any stupid thing you can say to get away from her. That's what happens when the weather breaks. Um, because you're preparing for that season. Everybody knows that season starts around. In April, as soon as the rain stops, yeah. when them sundresses <laughs> start bringing them asses out, you know what I'm saying? I think it's really rude for women to wear drawers with sundresses. What? I do. We didn't, we we didn't not get to that, get to that right. part of the we show yet. We're talking um, about... Well, go ahead. Because I'm ready to do it, baby. <laughs> That's the Are problem. Are you too anxious? Right. Motherfucker, so anxious. anxious. <laughs> Um, no, nah, man, I do, I don't think that cuffing season is, I don't think cuffing season is, I think cuffing season is some bullshit, for real, for real, but absolutely, um, when the, when the weather breaks, like, that's when the bullshit stops, <laughs> so, like, when the weather breaks for the summertime, that's exactly when the bullshit stops, it's no longer, um, personally, I feel like, Cuffing season does exist for some people. Now, if you already started before the cuffing season came, you already got your little boo together, and y'all go into the cuffing season together, then that's who you with. But some people are a little bit more lonely, and they gotta do drafting season for the cuffing season. Oh, she hip! And, um, she hip! Girls do the thing. You pick who you want to burn up with in the wintertime. You be having draft picks. No, I have a boyfriend, so I'm good. Oh, but, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I mean, girls do the same thing. You have to. So, once cuffing season is over, it's right before it got. If you want to stay with him through the summer, then that's fine. But... Let me ask you something. How long have you been with your boyfriend? Oh, wow. For a while. What's a while? 30 days. A year. A year? Yeah, I ain't got time for you. You get yet. fucking up when spring hit. Mm. I mean, my personal reason for up, so if he fucks up, then he just leaves me. That's it. That's his choice. Is it? Uh, I mean, why the fuck do you got to lose? What you mean? Because I'm not dumb to fuck up. Oh, so is he losing, losing you? Yes, he's losing, losing me. Oh, and it's the summertime. She made pop up. Fuck what you talking about. What? What, <laughs> what about everything that he can gain? Yes, yes. Is, I mean, I'm not worried about the next girl. I'm just okay. worried about what I can bring to another table. So I'm good. Especially oh, to another table. Out here. To so another that table. is a, that is so a, you she got a plan table. B. She <laughs> got a plan B. You heard it, bro. 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 I got a couple picnic tables. Love Nation got a plan B. You just don't wreck the table. It's a picnic table. It's a picnic table. I can bring this to you. It's a couple picnic Not just a regular table. She said, hey, hey, shorty, I hope you're listening to this shit because don't get it twisted, nigga. You better start rubbing feet and shit, boy. Your time is up. Absolutely not. Absolutely do not rub no feet. Well, she done already posted this shit. Oh, and I hope you follow her. Uh-huh. Right. Look, he already went on the show. Oh, yeah. And he's the thing I talk about the best. Oh, so, oh, so you, know know about about the <laughs> you, you know, know about the other tables. You know about the other tables. You know about the other tables that you bring to show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she just wrote it out one right here in the lobby. What? <laughs> She's like, shit, this is the table right here. <laughs> no exclusive. <laughs> That's crazy as shit. No exclusive. <laughs> you heard it first, man. Sneak peek on the lobby. <laughs> Nah, yeah, no bullshit. Know so you already told, like, you just told, like, you no, said, what, I, let me you said what I got to bring to other tables. I'm just saying, I have options. Everybody has options. So somebody will fuck up if you want. No, I don't have options. When I'm in a relationship, I don't have options. I'm saying, okay, just like it's, it's girls just waiting for your relationship to fuck up, it's people around the that wants to be with somebody. Don't be waiting for my relationship to fuck up. Still talking about tables and shit. She's like the dining room table, the picnic table, picnic table, the table, the space table. She's bringing books. She's a chef for in the process. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm with somebody, and that's who I'm with. You know what I'm saying? And that's who I'm loving. All right, no season. Yeah, season. How you get out? We just need your age. I'm not. I ain't going yet. I mean, I'm a straight up person. So it's easy to get no text back. So I just let you know, look, so that's not it's not. That's, that's, I mean, it's not. I have an option to ignore somebody. Clearly, they know I'm ignoring them. No, they know. Yes, they do. If I don't reply from all their texts, it's an obvious ignore. That is not direct. That is direct. direct. 
back. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's direct. Now, if nope. they keep calling, if they do call, I'll just be straightforward and just say, no, look, it's not working out. I don't go looking it's for issues. If out. there's an it's issue, be quiet. If there's an issue, <laughs> I'm not going to start an issue. So if it's an issue, and then I'll just address it on how I want to address it. If I want to leave, I'll leave. If I don't, I don't. All right. Y'all seen breaking all the rules yet? When it was like, you just gotta look her in her face and be like, I don't wanna break up. <laughs> <laughs> That's real shit, like, what'd you say? You gotta go in this room and you gotta talk and shit, like, like you did on the movie, like, you like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then you just gotta look her in her face and be like, yeah, like, I don't wanna break up. That's it. So you hurt baby. Regardless, I'm just gonna look you in your face and be like, look, I wanna break up. You and you might ask me why, and I might tell you, look, you know my eyes are starting to roam and like I'm about to probably Jeez. start to fuck around. Like and I don't like it's nothing that you it's not even like I don't even wanna say that it's nothing that you're doing to keep me home because that's kinda harsh, but I'ma try to keep it at look. My eyes starting to roam and like like you're not holding my attention. That's half a threesome. Um that, that is absolutely not. First way to break it. Yeah, that's the, it definitely don't. It actually brings more problems. Shit. <laughs> if you keep it real, that's what I just did. It's I just looked you in your face. I mean, I'm not saying sex doesn't solve everything. Yes, I've had She just told that. Just listen. No, that wasn't. That was just a just fun situation. Okay. Hey. Let's have fun. <laughs> 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 That's that is that is That's like scissor kicking. I'ma ask Molly G, Molly G. What is it? Like what what do you see? Like what's the what's the thing that you see motherfuckers do when it's about to get cold outside? Or when it's about to get hot outside? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what really what niggas do. I started to see niggas see niggas just a lot of niggas like, you know, it was shocked the shit out of me this year. But I started to see a lot of niggas get baby kills. And they made a stack for the winter time. Like, they came in the winter. winter. Yeah. But, you know, it keeps us up. Um, and when it's for women, like I was just saying, the other thing. Also, you know, them, you know them peacoats that bitches be putting in the closet all the way in the back? And then you remember back in the day, your no face was that inside, and then the outside jump. You started to see bitches in the little track jacket, fake jumps, in the little Columbia the line. jump, yeah, the liners and shit. Um, also, you started to Motherfucker, every day. Motherfucker won't even check the mail. When it's hot, 
nigga go out and say he stand out, he wave to the neighbors. Hey, how you doing and shit? Hey, neighbor, you know what I'm saying? It's a nice day, ain't it? Niggas get happy to, you know what I'm saying, get up and go to work. In the daytime, it ain't always dark when they go to work and shit. Absolutely not. You're what's crazy. The, what's the challenge that you see? For females, I guess, when it gets hot outside. Because I, I just saw, I just saw what well, I did see, I used to see, because you deleted the fucking post about the sundresses. Mm-hmm. What the fuck did you say? <laughs> what, what? Yeah, don't try it. Like, when the decent niggas be trying to go smack at the girls, and then they be like, hey, babe, then when she keep walking, like, all right, fuck you, then bitch. Yeah, <laughs> she, so she posted a picture but of a girl with a sundress on it. It's, it's getting to the weather with niggas be like, hey, what's up with you? And the brow curving. And they be like, all right, fuck you, them bitch weather. That's what that's what she <laughs> that's said. Like but it just had a sundress on. The bra had a sundress. Niggas still do that? Yes, they do. You tell me, you might tell me no 30 times. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fucked up. That By the time cool. you tell me no the 34th you know time. Like, fuck it. You like, like, you like, he was nice. Right. I'm going to give you my number anyway <laughs> for your persistence. <laughs> but, like, what are the things that you see niggas do mm-hmm. when the weather breaks? Listen. Okay, when it get old, hot, you listen. of course, niggas, they love to come outside, but sometimes, not all. Mm-hmm. I see a lot of white beaters in the hood. Mm-hmm. They try to bring those out. The basketball shorts with the Nike or Jordan flip flops to slide on. Lord. Lord. <laughs> um, a lot of guys like to post up around, you know, the basketball court, whatever. I'm not from Northeast, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I do, I live in South East Town, thank you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I feel like uh, they get a little bit more friendly. Of course, they let go of their old ones that they don't want no more from the wintertime, but they that's get a little bit more friendly. I do think that's so. That's what you be saying? That's what I see. I, see what I mean, look, I have, like, I have two brothers, and I have, uh, like, a lot of male friends, so I know from first time. You don't ever break that. You just, you always want to keep the line open. So you can thrash her while you're hitting the okay, other well, bitch. So what do women you don't have to worry about as a woman? Why, how do you how do you actually stay as a woman? Like when the weather breaks. I mean, my, I mean, I just get a little bit more happier when it's like hot outside. It's just a more lit time because you get to go out. You ain't got to cover up. You ain't got to go to out the house with a jacket. You know, you get to show more skin. You can let it hang.